Hello and welcome. We're going to solve this problem together, but first, try it on your own. Alright, so it says that a lab has two bacteria cultures, and culture A contains 8 times 10 to the 4th bacteria, and culture B contains 4 times 10 to the 6th bacteria. How do the two cultures compare in size? Well, before I even read the choices here, I'm going to solve it myself. So, we have 8 times 10 to the 4th, and 4 times 10 to the 6th. So I'll write that out. We have 8 times 10 to the 4th, and 4 times 10 to the 6th. Um, we could subtract these two. Um, however, I guess I did glance at the choices. And if we look at the phrasing, culture A contains twice as many bacteria as culture B. They all have phrasing like that, and that phrasing tells me we're dividing, right? Uh, how many times more does one have than the other? That's division, so we're really dividing these two. So let's take two approaches. The first approach is, I think, like the ultimate shortcut in this problem. We're dividing two numbers, and these numbers are written in scientific notation, which essentially means it's just some number times the power of 10. Um, my first strategy is to divide 8 and 4. You can always divide these first factors directly. That's 2. And then 10 to the 4th divided by 10 to the 6th is 10 to the negative 2nd. What does this mean? Well, 2 times 10 to the negative 2nd essentially means we're taking 2 and then we're dividing it by 10 2 times. This negative exponent means that we're dividing. So 2 divided by 10 twice. Well, the first division moves the decimal once to the left. We divide again and it moves again. So we have 0.02. So what does this tell us? Well, it tells us maybe what you already recognize. Culture A is smaller than culture B, right? Culture A has 8 times 10 to the 4th bacteria, and culture B has 4 times 10 to the 6th. So I think, you know, it's a little odd that we're looking at this order. It's culture A in comparison to culture B. I would typically uh, take the larger bacteria group and divide it by the smaller Right, to say how many times larger B is than A. But this is just the reverse or reciprocal of that. So 0.02, what does that equal out of all these choices right here? Well, it equals 1 50th, right? So culture A contains 1 50th as many times, as many bacteria as culture uh, B. Um, 0.02, of course, you can think of that um, as literally two, not two tenths, that would be if there's two here, but two one hundredths. And if we reduce that fraction, we get 1 50th which is where that's coming from. Uh, another way of doing this problem, if you don't like using the scientific notation shortcut or you're thrown off by it, just write the number out. We have 8 times 10 to the 4th. That's simply 8 times 10 4 times, so it's an 8 followed by 4 zeros. And then 4 times 10 to the 6th, well, every time you multiply by 10, you can think of getting the 6 zeros here, right? Or just moving your decimal over 6 times, which is probably more helpful. When we divide these two, uh, you might know this shortcut when we're dividing, these zeros essentially cancel each other out because they're essentially all just factors of, uh, representing factors of 10. So the four zeros in the numerator cancel out the four zeros in the denominator, and that equals 8 divided by 400. And if we reduce this, 8 divided by 8 is 1, 400 divided by 8 is 50, we also get 1 50th. That's another way of reducing it. Alright, I hope this helped.